Hi, and welcome back to our Impact YouTube channel. Michelle here. Today is Monday of Holy Week, and in today's Gospel, we're back at Lazarus' house with Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. There was a large gathering for dinner at Lazarus' house. There were, of course, family and friends. The disciples were there, Jesus, and there were a group of Jewish leaders um, who are plotting to kill Jesus and Lazarus. It was probably loud and noisy and lots of conversations going on. Martha, of course, was in the kitchen and Lazarus was reclining at table with Jesus, probably recapping the fact that only a couple days earlier, Jesus raised him from the dead. Mary, of course, was sitting at the feet of Jesus, right, um, where she normally is, but this time she brought a flask of oil, a very expensive oil, and she rubs that oil all over Jesus' feet and then takes her hair and wipes the feet of Jesus. Judas speaks up and um, says, that's crazy, that's an expensive um, flask of oil that could be sold uh, for 300 days wages and given to the poor. But Jesus says, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. So let's take a deeper look into this gospel reading. Mary, of course, very generous. She wants um, to give all that she has um, to Jesus, right? The perfumed oil today would actually go for $600. Um, she was also generous. There was a huge crowd around, right? And maybe this was the only time that she thought she was gonna have to show her love for Jesus. Or perhaps Mary heard the anti-Jesus conversations going on and wanted to stand up for him. Or maybe, like I said, it was just the opportunity to give him all that she had. Martha was generous as well, right? She was in the kitchen. She was cooking for all of these people and cleaning. Lazarus provided the means of, for the food and the wine and the place for them all to gather. And he knew there might be some people amongst the crowd that wanted him dead too. And yet, he still let Jesus come, and he didn't turn anyone away. So, how can we be generous like Mary, Martha, and Lazarus during this pandemic? For me, I am um, doing some projects around the house, and I'm going to attend daily Mass. What is it for you? How are you going to be generous this Holy Week? Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, help us to be more like Mary, Martha, and Lazarus this Holy Week. Jesus found the human love that he needed in those last days of his life. Lord, help us to find the ways to offer that kind of hospitality to Jesus now, to be generous with what we have, the gifts and time you give us. Let us grow in generosity to love in the ways we can. Be with us, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We here at Impact, we love you. We miss you. We hope you are doing well, and we are praying for you. God's peace be with you.